The Star Wars sequel trilogy pegs Luke Skywalker as the last of the Jedi religion, and in Episode 8, that torch is passed to Rey, who by the end of Episode 9 is still believed to be the last Jedi in the galaxy, assuming there were no others out there before Luke passed, which is what is implied in Episode 8. But that is the pivotal question, was Luke Skywalker really the last Jedi? The title of Episode 8 would certainly lead us to believe he was, and Master Yoda's line to Luke in Episode 6, where he refers to Luke as the last of the Jedi, implies that there weren't even any other survivors at that time, which would then strongly imply that Luke was indeed the last Jedi in Episode 8, since all of the students of the New Jedi Order died when Ben Solo turned to the dark side. But there are a few names from the past who could potentially have been alive during Return of the Jedi, and could have also still been around during the sequel trilogy, so let's cover those bases first, and then I will explain why I do believe and really hope that Rey is the only Jedi in the galaxy at the end of Episode 9. So, like I said, following Return of the Jedi, there are a few former Jedi who could potentially still be alive, and everything could still make sense. First up, perhaps the most popular of them all, Ahsoka Tano. Now, thanks to The Mandalorian, we actually do know for a fact that Ahsoka was alive post-Return of the Jedi. However, Ahsoka Tano also no longer claims to be a Jedi, so her survival beyond the original trilogy and even into the sequels is actually already justified and doesn't really affect the existing stories. Now, whether she did survive to the sequels or not remains to be seen. I don't really have a major preference either way. I will say that the more time that passes, I think it makes more sense for her to be dead by that point, partially because we do hear her voice speaking to Rey in The Rise of Skywalker, but there are alternative explanations for that as we have discussed in the past. But part of me would just rather see Rey rebuild the Jedi Order on her own without these legacy characters joining up with her, at least not in the physical realm. Of course, if Ahsoka were to appear and serve a crucial purpose, then I'd certainly be open to that as well. So yes, Ahsoka could be alive during the sequels, but she's also technically not a Jedi, so it doesn't really matter either way. And the other former Jedi, Force-sensitive type character who fits in into this same category is Grogu. Grogu was a former Jedi youngling, but he chose not to pursue that path under Luke's tutelage, and so he is also not a Jedi anymore, technically speaking. And then finally, we also have Reva, who is certainly no longer a Jedi. I don't really see her working her way back into the story over 40 years after we last saw her in the Kenobi series, but either way, that is where this list of Jedi who survived Order 66 and could take part in the future Jedi Order after the sequels without affecting the narrative that Luke Skywalker Skywalker was the last Jedi ends. They are the only three, and really only two in my opinion, that have a real chance, with Grogu certainly being the most likely to appear in any post-sequel content. Now, there are two other young and somewhat prominent figures whose fate we do not yet know, Ezra Bridger and Cal Kestis. These are two characters who maintain their Jedi title and could be alive post-Return of the Jedi. In fact, it's not a 100% certainty yet, but I do think it's pretty much a guarantee that Ezra will survive beyond that time. Cal, on the other hand, still does have time to die before the events of the original trilogy, and personally, I think he should. Nothing against Cal, I just think that his story is still open enough that they can logically kill him off, and I think the more we can minimize ruffling up the plot of the original trilogy, the better. But now we come to Ezra, and he is a true Jedi who could indeed be alive during all of this. We'll see what they do with him in terms of the world between worlds, his whole arc with Thrawn and all of that in the Ahsoka series, and if he does survive, then the possibility remains that he could also just renounce the Jedi Code at some point, and that would work as a loophole, but I also don't really love the thought of that concept being reused over and over again for this purpose. But as it stands right now, based on everything I just covered, I think there is a good chance that Luke Skywalker was indeed the one and only Jedi in the galaxy during The Last Jedi, and that he was one of only two or three true Jedi during Return of the Jedi, along with Ezra Bridger and maybe Cal Kestis, whose whereabouts during that time remain ambiguous. And I think this is the way it should be. I understand that there are workarounds and Yoda could have just not known that Ezra was alive, and maybe even Cal too, but to me, Luke should be the last Jedi by the time of the last Jedi, and now, moving on from episode 9, Rey is the last Jedi. It doesn't make sense for all kinds of Jedi to have been alive during the original and sequel trilogies and to not have stepped in unless they just chose to pursue a completely different life altogether after the collapse of the Order. That is a possibility that I could get down with, but in terms 
terms of Jedi who continued to be Jedi, that's where I think it gets sticky and the established timeline could begin to suffer. Now, one potential thought that I do have regarding the sequel trilogy and the events that take place after that, I do think it could be cool if maybe like one of Luke Skywalker's students from his Jedi Order did survive and they just went into hiding or went and started a new life and then at some point down the road they meet Rey and perhaps the two of them find common ground talking about Ben Solo and their relationship with him. That could be an interesting wrinkle to the story and I think I'd actually really like to see that. But in terms of Jedi who survived Order 66 and even Ezra Bridger who didn't survive Order 66 because he was trained later, I really do think that those guys should be gone by that time and we should move forward with Rey's new Jedi Order with characters who are not from that time period. Characters from the sequel trilogy like Rey or Finn or Ben or even characters from Luke's Jedi Order, they all work better to me because I think they will push the story forward rather than drawing us all the way back to the events of the prequel trilogy and the Empire. Now again, Grogu for sure and Ahsoka too could potentially wiggle their ways into that story in some way. Although I don't think it's necessary at all, it could certainly be interesting. You know, Grogu could show up in that timeline ready to reassume the Jedi life after Din Djarin has passed. Rey could find an apprentice somewhere out there in the galaxy. She could take on multiple students. She could train Finn. And even Ben Solo could contribute to a new order in some way as he guides Rey in one way or another, whether it's just as a typical force ghost or through some other means. We don't know if the dyad perhaps grants him some other abilities as he and Rey remain connected even after his transition to the netherworld, but that of course remains to be seen. So that is going to wrap things up for me. Again, I think based on all the content which features so many survivors after Order 66, people are sort of getting the sense that there were a lot of Jedi even after Episode 6, and personally, I don't actually think that's the case. I think Luke is at the very least one of a small handful after the Empire's fall, and by the sequels, I think he should pretty much be the only one. I could be wrong, and maybe the way that they execute that potential reality would end up making sense, but for now, I think and I hope that Luke is pretty much the last Jedi. The only exception that I really like right now is a potential survivor from his Jedi Order. I think that works pretty well, and Grogu obviously works as well because of his age and the fact that he's not technically a Jedi right now. But let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Who would you like to see in Rey's new Jedi Order aside from Rey herself? Please remember to leave a like on this video before you go, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and of course, may the Force be with you always.